Today I was joined by my brother Liam to create a video game. Here you can see him starting the day of work in bed while I began switching on my tools for the day. By the way, this is day number three of the seven days of game development challenge. Thanks so much for the awesome support so far on the series. I made Etim and the Splotch, both of which are kind of spooky and out of season. But you guys really want to see something festive and jolly, so that's what my bro and I were determined to make today. We began with a brainstorming session. Having a crazy deadline of just one day, we needed something simple but that would stretch our creative muscles in new ways. There's no time to overthink or procrastinate here, so we dived straight in with one of the first ideas we came up with, your Santa managing his Christmas factory. I began by creating a wintry landscape in Photoshop, but then I drew the factory's pipeline through which the toys would move through. Building toys should definitely be a challenge. You can change their colour, shape and gift wrapping, and I have a bunch of cards at the top of the screen as objectives to reach. For example, here we needed a blue moon in a pink box. This gets quite tricky to handle when there's multiple toys zooming through the pipeline and you need to keep track and match things up. It ended up feeling like a mind-twisting overcooked style experience and we loved it. Working in a pair is awesome because while Liam is busy pooping out tons of code, I had a little more time to spend on fun details like post-processing, tiny characters moving through the Christmas village, rotating cogs, shaders, and a simple snow particle effect using Unity's particle system. We called the game the Christmas Hustle and then did a mini competition where we both tried to get the best score. Each time you successfully make a toy that fulfills all the criteria shown on a card, you score a point. Sadly, my brother beat me by a long shot, but we're both curious to know how well you guys will perform. So feel free to give the game a try, you can play for free directly in your browser, the link is in the description. This intense one game a day challenge is turning out to be a real blast. I can't help but smile the huge contrast between yesterday's and today's projects. One is a headless body running around a blood splatter screen, while the other feels cosy, warm and takes place in the sort of world I wouldn't mind paying a visit. Already looking forward to day 4, so feel free to leave your game ideas in the comments, or you might very well take inspiration from it. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on the next videos. And if you want to create awesome games yourself and want a clear roadmap to learning game development successfully, then go and grab our courses over on Udemy. The links are in the description, and yeah, see you tomorrow guys, to the moon.